Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, December 6, 2022. If you like the support channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and let's get to us all. So we'll start by looking at the NASDAQ, and as you can see, we have had quite a bad day today. We are down 1.88%, which is, well, fairly a lot. We're trading just above the 20 simple moving average here, here and, and uh, just just at the bridge, um, just at the area where we found support the last time, or basically on uh, on last fr Friday. So, at this case, if we basically break below the 20 simple moving average, that probably opens the door to the very lows here of 11.5k, and then towards the 50 moving average, and after that, way below this. So. I pointed out yesterday that we were technically in a fairly nice upward trend line or upward channel and they were basically going to test the bottom of the channel if we break below here then we could head to uh, the lows yet again but if we turn it around here uh, this week then we may just see more of the same until we get towards the 200 uh, moving average so this is fairly significant because if we look for example at Fibonacci retracements for this we will see that we are just testing the 50 Fibonacci retracement that was around this area here and got rejected and if we get towards the 200 moving average that's a 61.8 Fibonacci retracement and that should be where we should find massive amount of resistance so if this uh, Christmas rally were to continue this is probably where it also will find its end as the market most likely will be rejected at this point but that will just that will be be seen tomorrow if this continues to the downside that we may go heading back to the lows if we like to look at technical indicators we can see the macd has just about to cross the signal line becoming bearish stochastic is already bearish and rsi is also bearish and there's a lot of room to the downside indeed so let's look at the s p 500 we can see that it's even more uh, clear here that we have this, this um, upward channel and that we are getting rejected at the 200 moving average. So the S&P has been fairly uh, more bullish than the Nasdaq has been and has gotten towards uh, the 61.8 61 Fibonacci retracement. If we get that up here as well, we can see that it was already here that we passed it and now we're basically breaking down from that so we're getting rejected at the 200 moving average heading below the 61.8 and at the moment we are finding support at the 20 simple moving average so breaking below that that could open the door towards the 50 moving average that is moving in this direction so we could fall towards the 50 and then rally that should be around 3865 but breaking below the 50, that could really open the door back towards the very lows of 33,492. Uh, to the upside, if we manage to break above the 200 moving average at this at this stage, if we continue uh, in this channel, then we may go heading towards 4,200. So let's look at the Dow Jones. Dow Jones has also fallen today. It's down 1.38%, finding support at the 20 simple moving average. It has kind of, um, it has kind of found a massive uh, re uh, resistance up here. So we did break above the previous highs, all right here and also here. But this kind of has been an area of uh, of resistance. If you take this whole area here and due to the fact that we are running out of steam we had a really nice uh, rally uh, from basically september mid-september uh, until now in december it's kind of leveling off and i wouldn't be surprised if we broke down from here headed towards the 200 moving average roughly uh, roughly 33k if we break below the 250 moving average down here at 31.9k and after that we may see a continuation of uh, this move going lower so yes it is to be seen um if interest rates continue to rise then uh, we may see some headwinds in this market but we are stalling here and have been and that usually it's not a really good sign 
MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is bearish. So technical indicator momentum is definitely to the downside at this point. So let's look at the uh, European market, very similar here for the DAX. We are definitely running out of steam. We did fall towards the uh, 14.3K, and then we have kind of rallied a bit at the end of the US session. But if you look back in history, this has been an area of significant resistance. And therefore, it is not uh, surprising that we are having problems uh, in this area and trying to get the uh, uh, go higher, but it's difficult. As you can see, we did the same thing here, we did the same thing here, and then it ended up basically falling apart. So if we were to fall apart, 200 moving average down here at 13.8 should be support. Same goes for the 50 down here at 13.3. So we could rally from here, we could break towards the 50 and also rally from there. And if we break down below the 50, then we could really head back to the very bottom. MACD is still bearish, stochastic is bearish and RSI is bearish. It was significantly over, uh, overbought. So not if, uh, wouldn't be surprising if we see a pullback from here. So let's look at the Japanese Nikkei. You see that we have kind of broken through this channel that we have been in and that usually means that we are going lower so it doesn't mean that it will fall apart but the 50 moving average is down here so we could basically bounce from there 200 moving average is right underneath we could also bounce from that area there it's not until we basically break below the two uh moving averages that this kind of will show us a negative channel towards the downside and the downside is roughly down at the 25k. So 25k has been the bottom all year, being the highest roughly at 29k. So it has been going back and forward within this uh, channel, um, the whole for 2022. MACD at this point is bearish, the CASIC is very bearish, and the RSI is also bearish. And there's a lot of room to the downside. So let's look at the wicks. So wicks is. Um, well, it did fall at the end of the year session, but it went all the way up to 22.16. Uh, we have seen this move um, several times in 2022. We can see it right here, fall towards roughly 20, um, 20 all the way up towards the 35, then back towards the 2019, back towards the 30s. And now we're getting really close to the same level where we have seen a massive uh, support in the past. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see that MACD is still bearish, stochastic is becoming bullish in negative territory, and the RSI is also turning around becoming bullish. So I wouldn't be surprised if we, for the foreseeable future, will see another move towards the 30s um, going forward the next few months. So let's look at the 10-year. Probably the reason why we have seen such uh, massive moves in the in the foreign exchange markets today is because of the tenure. It has rallied more than 2%, nearly 3%, and at the moment looks like heading towards the 20 simple moving average up here at 3.7. Breaking above that, 50, 3 point, uh, 50 moving average at 3.9, and after that to the highs. So yes, we have had a massive drop in uh, the US tenure, but interest rates will most likely continue rising and therefore we are most likely also going to see a rally at some stage here it was significantly oversold so it was just a matter of time before this started rallying question is how far we will go if we get rejected here and head towards the 200 which probably will be the bottom here or we head towards the 50 and then head towards the 200 that is to be seen MACD is still bearish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bearish at, the, at bullish at this point. So, I hope you find this helpful. If you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And please do your own due, due, due diligence before trading in the markets. Good luck and thank you very much.